The session player instruments here in Logic Pro for iPad are undoubtedly cool, but sometimes you need a little bit of extra control, and that's where converting your session players to MIDI tracks can come in handy. In this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Well, there's just one thing you should know about Hi, my name is Pete and welcome back to my Logic Pro for iPad tutorials. In a previous video, I showed you how we can create our very own backing band using the Session Player instruments, which is very cool. And look, there's lots of options in here to tweak the performance, but sometimes you want a little more control. You want to be able to actually change the individual MIDI notes of your Session Player track. So here's how to do it. Let's start by changing up this Session Piano Player. We've got the piano, the keyboard here using the free option all we need to do is tap on it tap again and down the bottom here tap on convert and convert to MIDI region and like magic and instantly it's going to convert to a MIDI track it retains all of the chords based on the chord track and it has all of the MIDI note information that was created by the session player to edit the MIDI notes all we need to do is with this track selected tap on the editor button and open the MIDI editor window from here we can make it full size we can change any of these notes we like, both the velocity and the timing of the notes. If we want to move a note, all we need to do is grab it and drag it up or down. If there's notes you want to remove, so let's say there's this uh, little trill here at the start. If we don't want this, we can just tap each of these notes, tap again, and tap on delete, and that's going to remove that. You can even tap and drag over a number of notes and either move them or delete them. If you want to learn more about editing MIDI, check out the other videos in the description. Let's do this again, but with this string part, because you can use the keyboard session player to create strings and other sounds. Again, more videos about that in the description. Let's tap it again, tap on convert, and then tap on convert to MIDI region. Once again, we're going to edit by tapping on the editor. And this time let's add some additional notes. So if we come to the start here, if I wanted to add, say, another note at the top here, Let's just uh, take a listen to this one. What if I wanted another note up the top here to add to this chord? Well, we can go into edit mode by tapping on the pencil and actually tapping in an additional note. And then we can increase the length of that one to match. And now if we go back to our trim mode, not quite right. There it is. So now we've got a brand new note that we've added in and we can do that by adding or removing or changing any of the notes in our performance. Finally, drums can also be converted. Let's tap on this drum performance, come down to convert and convert this one to a MIDI region. This time it's similar, but we're not using a melodic instrument. We're using a drum instrument. If we go into the editor here, we've got a similar sort of layout here, but instead of your notes, you've got all of the different drum parts. So again, you can move and replace these by just tapping them and you can delete them, move them, add to them, do whatever you like. There you have it, a very simple one, but a very handy feature because sometimes the session player just doesn't give you quite enough control. If you'd like to learn more about the session player instruments and everything else here in Logic Pro for iPad, check out the other videos in the description.